So I'm using these golden open acrylics on my gel plate. I just thought I'd try something uh, a little different. This is manganese blue hue, one of my favorite blues. So I'm just rolling it out here. And because the open acrylics stay wet for so much longer than any other acrylics you'll ever meet, um, you have plenty of time to think about what you want to do on the plate. So I thought I'd try a little chicken printing. Come on, Amelia. This is Amelia. Well, she's not crazy about the gel plate, but she is getting some hair. You want to step on this, honey? Oh, now she likes it. Amelia, come on. Here, it's time to step on. Ooh. So we have some chicken prints here. And then let's see what she's done. Oh, now she's stepping on one of my pieces. Oh. They are brilliant art. Now I'll just wash her feet off a little bit here. Ooh. Toenails painted? She probably wants her toenails painted. So you've all probably seen many demos of techniques on the gel plate. So this is nothing new. So I'm going to make just a few starts for paintings. And at the same time, I'll be creating some collage papers. There, just putting a little texture into that. And I've got 12 by 12 paper here. And 10 by 10 here. As you can see, I'm going to start a few prints at the same time. And then we have quite a bit of paint still on the plate. I could start another print. In fact, why don't I do that? Or I could print over one I've already done. I'll do that too. It's got kind of a funny edge there. I'm going to leave it. And then maybe I'll take up the rest of the ink with my uh, junk sheet, which will be used as collage paper. I'm using primaries here just so that you can see clearly how this is working. This is Indian Yellow Hue. It's a transparent color, as was the first the first color, which was quinacridone magenta. I guess I'm going to put a stencil over. So let's see how to arrange this. I'm working in a grid format, so anything I do is going to work with that. I want it overlapping a little bit of the magenta. That. And we'll try this. Cool. 
And I'll pick up the stencil. Now, I'm not being very exact in placement here. I'm sure that's obvious. So, there'll be surprises. Like that. And like that. So now I'm using Prussian blue and manganese blue hue in what's called a rainbow roll. And then I'm just going to stamp a little pattern into that with a paper cup and turn the cup over. I'm working very quickly here, you can see. And then placing my paper very carefully. And producing fabulous print. And then I'm going to use a little of this Tulip Slick paint. that and I'm going to use one of my junk sheets to pick the rest of the paint up here. I say junk sheets but they're really collage paper sheets. Oh yeah. 